and tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the Evil Idol competition, in which the winner of the contest will become a permanent member of the Chilling Tales for Dark Nights voice acting team. Listen to the entire performance, and if you'd like to see this particular contestant advance to the second round, which begins August 1st, simply click the thumbs up icon to vote in their favor. If you don't care for the performance, click the thumbs down icon instead. Thanks for listening and for participating, and good luck to all of our first round contestants. Lovely Little Shrimp Written by D.G. Collins Performed by Benjamin Lisman for Chilling Tales for Dark Nights and the Evil Idol Competition. I'm interrupting this broadcast for a special report. Folks, this is Dave Barton here, and I apologize if my voice sounds a little strained tonight. Falling Pines is a small town, but some of you might not know Dr. Henderson. He's the guy in charge of the radio observatory up the mountain, and several hours ago he called to say he had big news something I had to hear. Now, of course, I told him that I'm just the overnight DJ for our little community radio station, not a reporter, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. So I decided to humor him and drive up to see what had gotten him so agitated. When I reached the observatory, I found Henderson's grad students. They were, well, everywhere. At first I thought they'd been mauled by animals, but when I saw their eyes plucked out, their skin peeled back, and, and worse, I realized no animal could be so intentionally cruel. A closer look didn't help my stomach. As far as I could tell, each of those students had done those things to themselves. Only Dr. Henderson was still alive. By the time I found him slumped down on the floor, he only had one finger left, his pinky. I think he'd eaten the rest because he was licking his lips and staring at his little finger as if all he could think about was popping it into his mouth. But he was fighting himself, trying to bring it closer to his face while his other arm held it back. Lovely little shrimp. He just kept saying, lovely, lovely little shrimp. When he noticed me watching in horror, his face fell. He looked sad. And then as we both watched, his hand drifted up. Henderson struggled even more then, desperately straining to pull back the last remaining finger and bite it off, but he failed. The finger pushed a button, which played a transmission the observatory had been receiving. How can I explain what I heard? I can't. The transmission was from... Mines. Mines roaming through space. Vast and overwhelming minds too big to comprehend. Too far beyond us to fully understand what they want with... Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. One of them reached into my head and I can't hold it back anymore. The pressure is driving me to... I... I can't... Uh, there! It's done! You're patched in now, monster! You'll get transmitted through the loop and sent on and on and... Oh my god! Lovely little shrimp. Henderson wasn't talking about his fingers. He was talking about us. Our minds are like... Like... Krill to them. Tiny, insignificant things to scoop up and feed on. I understand now. You will too. You'll all see... They feed by sifting through the wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation. Like the one you're listening to. <clears throat> Please, can I die now? Yes? Oh, thank God. <laughs> he said yes. I'm interrupting this broadcast for a special report. Folks, this is Dave Barton here, and... Thanks for listening. If you haven't already, don't forget to cast your vote for this contestant via a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thanks for voting and for spreading the word about Chilling Tales for Dark Nights and our first ever Evil Idol competition. Tune in August 1st, 2016 for the start of round two. Chilling Tales.
Tales from Dark Nights.